after the motherboard change. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm thrilled. Happy days, happy days. I got my pedal off, so, so that's great. Uh, it came off nice and easy. Uh, this right screw was a bit tough and you might be wondering why am I opening my Nikola well yesterday I went riding and when I carried it up the stairs to get home the lift sensor did not release so now the wheel is not balancing isn't life swell because if you turn it on this is probably pinched or something and uh, it'll turn on then it'll go beep and this will engage and then the the motor won't turn on all right so I haven't I haven't opened this for about a thousand kilometers let's see oh look at that look at that this is definitely not as sealed as it used to be because this is the new motherboard that was installed. There's dust here, but the best is this part here. There's dust and dripping, and that means that water has come in and under. Lovely which means that the rubber gasket behind this motherboard isn't properly sealed. Awesome, awesome. So it's worse after 1,000 kilometers than it was after this first initial 7,000 kilometers after the motherboard change. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm thrilled. So if we're gonna follow cables, this cable here goes here, goes here. So this is the lift sensor here. It goes here, 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 and then we'll just fiddly do somewhere around here into this huge mess of cables. That's great, that's great. And, you know, you can't just like expect to, to cut the cable because if you, if you just cut this cable, you don't know if it's like a closed loop that is open and then gets closed or if it's closed and then gets open. So usually it will just be best to remove it. So this is lovely. You can have fun backtracking that one to where it goes. Jesus. Look at this. What the hell is this even supposed to be? This isn't even on properly. What is this? What is this? Three pin connector. This is a two pin connector that's just floating in the air. What the hell? Holy shit, man. So this two pin connector is just floating in the air. Which beautiful part of the wheel would that be then? Oh man, oh man. Isn't life swell? If I raise this now, you see, it's as, as if the lift sensor would be triggered because it's not balancing. So this part here gets scary. The lift sensor should be the one above here. This is something else. It could be the USB connector. This is, this is just terrible. 
This is this is really just terrible, man. Disgusting. Disgusting. This goes here. That's all. There's nothing about it. At least the wheel didn't explode. So the fan is not spinning up. And this obviously goes here. There's no doubt about it since there was goo there. But, you know, that, that's not the lift sensor. So this one is supposed to be the fan. The fan has been working. But the fan could just as easily have been plugged in somewhere else. It's hard to say in this mess of cables. So let's take the Bigodi, Bigodi app and connect. It's at 28.6 degrees, so nothing is going to happen with the fan right now. Although I, I would sort of expect the, the fan to wake up. So if we look at the connectors here, we have two connectors here, we have two connectors here at the bottom, we have connectors on the side there. That doesn't have to be the fan. Could be. It's not the headlight. It's not the LEDs. The fan was working. So this sensor is not tripping at all. There's LED, there's a fan, there's a hall sensor, there's the motor cables, but this was just really terrible, you know, with the, with the water ingress there coming along here, because I mean, this was really, really clean after 7,000 kilometers. It was like, it was so clean, but you know, once you open a wheel, you start unleashing a, a pile of poop in there, but it's just like really sad. It's sad, man. It makes me sad. The charm of wheels, right, is that they are extremely low maintenance. That is supposed to be the charm of wheels. Like a small, small, small... What, what is this, man? What is... Is this going to cause me to die? You know, am I going to have to suit up to Hell and Beyond now? Some small plastic shaving. So, yeah, the beeper works. The Bluetooth works. Uh, the speaker <laughs> definitely works. So all of that works. There's there's just been dust coming in here, you know. You you'd have to like you'd have to like get under here. Cause this is where the gasket is. You'd have to get under there. So let's try to compare the schematics a bit. So here yeah, the digital display is working. So that has buttons there. There, this is supposed to be the headlight. This is supposed to be USB. Yeah, and the lift off switch is this one.
I mean, this is this is like there. Oh, purple code! Look at you, purple code. Boom. <laughs> There. And now it balances. Right? Now it balances. It's just it now. simply disconnected. I disconnected the the lift switch. I'm forty seven years old. I'm forty seven years old and I, I you know, I've just had enough. I've had enough. About, about a lot. I've done a lot. I was born in Canada. I lived in Spain. And, uh, you know, the, the Nicola is a hell of a fun wheel to ride. It's like one of the most waterproof wheels. But then we get to this little problem when we start opening our wheels. You know, we start to open our wheels. We start to fiddle around inside the wheels. Or someone else opens the wheel and fiddles with your wheel. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I sort of like ask other people to do stuff for me, you know, because they're the professionals in that field. I'm the professional in my field. So if you come to me and you want something from me, I will do it professionally. And if you don't want me to do it professionally, we'll sign off, you know, we'll sign off that you will take all the consequences and then I'll try not to have nightmares. But, uh, yeah, yeah. This is like, this, this kind of like takes away a bit of the fun because it makes me a bit nervous when it comes to these things, like opening my wheel and stuff. I'm just gonna put like some, some tape around that. You know, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. It's not gonna find its way back into the connector, you know. Uh, yeah, and that's it. And as for the fan, you know, I, I guess I'll find out when it comes to the fan. There's no uh, front and back orientation, you can tell, because they use this, uh, the white uh, liquid rubber, right? It's not, uh, it's not silicone then. Uh, there's this other thing, copagger or something like that, you know, that they use in China, which is the white, uh, the white rubber. It dries faster than the silicone, because the silicone just takes like 24 hours. And then you got the different kinds of silicone, you know, you have the, the one that has like... Uh, a kind of acid in it and the other one that has a methane in it and some the the one that has like the acetic acid uh, can damage the motherboard over time over time but you know hey it, it's back together um, and that's it you know I'm, it, it, it's uh, it's balancing that was the only problem with the wheel it's balancing I could have done without uh, the whole water thing I have been riding it in uh, snow since it was repaired and I wasn't riding it in snow before that and snow can like get stuck in there in a different way it can like really get jammed in there so yeah the only person that has had any trouble with water on their Nicola besides my bearings though uh, is uh, Tobias he was riding his Nicola like on a really rainy day and when he stopped at a red light the, the headlights started flashing and then the, the wheel just stopped balancing. And two days later, it got all dry and good, right? Because they use conformal coating on the motherboard. But I mean, still. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Still. Uh, the silicone something, you know, on the back there. There's a heat sink on the other side. The heat sink is it meant that you're supposed to juggle ventilation and temperature as a compromise for water resistance, right? So I would rather let the fan do its work, let the heat sink maybe do less work, and just like cover it in a plastic shield or something like that. Because it's just like... All right, let's take a look. 36 degrees motherboard.
Fan is on. Down to 38. What you got? What you got? There we go. 37. Up. At 40. So there's the hysterics for you. Start and stop. I'll get in the hood. I'm gonna go meet Boris and Pedia in five minutes. So yeah, no ash show today uh, since I'm meeting Katya and Boris. I'm bringing them a sex so we can fool around a bit with shorts. Uh, the indent on the side pad. It's not just grippy, it's sharp, right? So again, some neoprene, you know, get a get a mouse mouse pad and butcher it. And yeah. So I'll see if I can issue issue some challenges to the fellas. So I'll just bring the wheel for fun, you know. I'm not gonna bore you with a ton of exercise stuff. Because uh, that's not why you watch the channel, I guess. If you if you do wanna see some exercise stuff, you know, let me know. Boris is one of those guys that is uh, just like good good at a lot of stuff. He's good at a lot of stuff. He doesn't give himself proper credit though, but he's good at a lot of stuff. He's just very self self critical. So yeah, when it comes to the the Nicola and the water ingress there, Petra had a tiny bit on hers as well. Futures here. The future is indeed is the future is indeed here, man. It is here. Now society will catch up. But yeah, Petra got some water in behind her motherboard as well. We were talking about sealing it. Tobias only had that problem once. Tobet. It's also Nick Ryder. It's not it's not an issue. It's visually disturbing. But there are other disturbing things as well. But it's 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 visually disturbing. It's it's unnerving. Because you don't want a McFall, you know, when a drop of water goes in the wrong place. Most a lot of people just solve that, don't ride in the wet. Right? But you know, if you identify a certain area where there has been some kind of ingress of water or snow gets up there in the nick, man, it gets up there, it does not come out. It does not come out. It takes its time to come out now. So that's how I screwed the bearings on the nick. I'm gonna put some WD-40 on it just for you guys. You just watch me. Just, just watch me. Just for laughs. So since McLeod and company are taking the time, let's revisit the red trails. Aside, breaking plastic, breaking plastic, breaking plastic. No breaking plastic. Foot knob is great. Heel lock is great, great, and great. Let's see what kind of effect this has on things. You know, the foot lock will stop you before you reach this pad. You can reach this part of the pad still, 
and then it will flex on you. So this part will flex and fall in until eventually I guess it'll it'll break off. You know. I'm pretty sure Sai has revised the construction since then. Here. And this is just brutal, brutal on me over here. Right here, brutal. I'm gonna lower the left one. I think the heel lock is just a tiny, tiny bit loose. This has just like a bit of a larger indent than the, the clock tech has, so it can be like. Yeah, so sli slipping a bit with the uh, heel, you know, that's a bit of a question of adjustment. So let's look at some uh, instant torque application on the on the hard mode and see if I can do like a mini burnout back and forth, forward and backward go. And now let's just take a look at some hard braking. Pads are too far back. I, li I like where my foot is. This. It's a good size in there. Lean them down. Yeah. Oh, That'll even give you more forward lean at speed, dude.
yeah <laughs> okay that's like the like I do on the Clark then when I pedal dip it backwards so that's that's a good uh, torque test works for me now we got to do the forward again ain't life swell Yeah, since it's footlock dependent when it comes to most of the torque application, I'm not so much front dependent here. It, like like the bottom here and the snob. We'll see. The kids are here now. We'll let them try. Maybe I can fool some strangers into trying to. Stop talking. Oh, coming. <laughs> I heard you coming a mile away. Yeah. You're coming a mile away, man. Nice to see you. Awesome. Yeah. The rain lifts so much grass. Okay. Look at them. No naked riders here when it comes to motorcycle riding. You came on your motorcycles? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing like feeling the wind blowing through our hair, huh? Ah, 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 nice, ah, nice, funny. I know. I'm a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. I'm gonna go to hell anyway, so. Oh, exactly. I have like carte blanche for the rest of my life. Now I can do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> There's no turning back. <laughs> Nothing can save me. Exactly.